hi welcome to my new channel my name is christine so today we are going to look at how to find the reduced levels using the height of culmination method when we have a data from the survey as you can see we have the data we have the station we have the point we have the back site we have the intermediate site we have the foresight we have the height of culmination and then we have the reduced levels so we know that to find the height of culmination it's the reduced level pl plus the back site so that we can find the height of culmination and to find the reduced level when we have the height of culmination and the foresight or the intermediate site we have to take the height of culmination and then we do the subtracting from the foresight or the intermediate site so now we are going to start we have the points you as you can see we have the data that has been collected from the field and so off we off we start so we are given the reduced <coughs> level as the temporary benchmark we have our reduced level which is 43.00 so for us to find the height of culmination it will be the reduced level minus the back side sorry plus the back side so we have 43 plus 0 0.77 which gives us 43 point seven seven one so that is for our our first point where we have the temporal benchmark now the the height of culmination does not change it only changes when we have a change point so in this second point it will remain the same that one 43.771 and then now let's find the reduced level that will be the height of culmination minus the foresight so it's 43.771 minus 1.552 which gives us 42.219 good now we are at point b now this is we have a change point here we have a change point it is denoted by cp we have a foresight of 1.2 2.311 so for us to find for us to find the height of culmination now we are going to take what we have at the reduced level and then we minus the foresight remember what we said we take the reduced level we minus the foresight for us to find the height of culmination at the change point so we have 42.219 minus 2.311 we'll find our reduced level to be 40.710 40.710 and then from there let's find the the height of culmination now it's the reduced level minus the back side the reduced level plus the back side so our reduced level is 40.710 and our back side is 0 0.802 so we add them to get the height of culmination which is 43.021 43.021 and then now let's go to point c we have the back side and the foresight so our height of culmination will remain the same 43.021 what changes is the reduced level whereby our reduced level will be the height of culmination minus the foresight which is 43.021 minus 1.990 which gives us 41.031 and then we have the change point here let's find the height of culmination here so it's the reduced level 
plus the back side which will give us the the height of collimination that is 41.031 plus 3.580 which gives us 44.611 so for us to find the reduced level now it will be the 44 44.61 minus 1.22 which will give us 43.39 one <clears throat> now we are moving to point e so our height of collimination will remain the same 44.611 so what changes is the reduced level whereby our reduced level whereby our reduced level will be the 44.611 we subtract the in intermediate site which gives us 40.936 so we are moving to point F we are moving to point F we are moving to point F so at point F we have the back site and the fore site so our 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 height of collimination remains the same 44.611 so what changes is the reduced level whereby it is 44.61 minus the foresight which gives us 14.591 so for us to be able to find the height of collimination it's now the reduced level plus the plus the back side which gives us which gives us 42.991 and then let's find the reduced level at point g so it will be 42.999 minus 0 0.0.399 which will give us 42 0.660 so the height of collimination will remain the same the height of collimination will remain the same here we have 42.999 our reduced level will be the height of collimination which is 42.99 minus 1.0.157 1 which gives us which gives as 43 42 sorry 42.824 <coughs> so now we have we have that now we are going to do the arithmetic checks the arithmetic checks to see if to see if whatever we found is okay and if the checks are okay so we are going to start with the first arithmetic check which is the first the last reduced level minus the first reduced level which is the last which is 42.824 minus 43.000 which gives us negative 0.15 eight meters and then we are going to do the second arithmetic check which is the which is the sum of the back side minus summation of the first side which is the sum of the back side here the one that we have here is 7.561 minus 7.719 which gives us 0 0.158 meters <coughs> so you can see that the two they are the same therefore meaning that the data is okay so we say therefore okay <coughs> so whatever you had collected from the field then it is okay for you to proceed and use it for for your survey purposes so that is how we reduced we reduced the data using the height of collimination method 
thank you very much guys for your time i hope you subscribe like the channel thank you very much see you on our next video thank you